Hi, how's it going, guys? Welcome. This is uh, Daniel coming from coming to you from um, upstate New York, and uh, today is July 28, which is a uh, um, Peruvian Independence Day, which is an amazing thing for me. So happy, uh, you know, like Viva el Peru, carajo! Uh, happy Peruvian Independence Day to all those Peruvian brothers and sisters. Um, and yes, yes, uh, I'm actually was born in Peru and I wanted to talk to you today about your philosophy of life. I was um, watching a seminar with uh, Jim Ron, Jim Ron yesterday and um, he was he was saying then then he changed his philosophy through the years right he w used to be maybe from age 19 to 25 he had a, a type of philosophy that was not um, the best for him because by age 25 he was broke and he didn't have any money he had a family you know living in the best country in the world and and not making any money whatsoever or or not even having uh, much going on for for his life right and from age 30, 25 to 30 31 maybe um the economy was the same everything was the same but he became a millionaire right and it's just because he met this person who become his mentor his mentor and actually became uh, change his philosophy of life right um, now I can relate to some to some extent of course I can relate to something like that I was just um, um, maybe around a year ago I was I remember in, in I was in my job working uh, in a restaurant and um, and I was biting a piece of bread with butter right and this guy who is a person who is overweight he looked at me and say oh my god you're so lucky daniel because your genetics allowed you to eat like that and not to get you know overweight and, and uh i didn't say anything to him because of course you know it's not about genetics at the end of it. it's not like you have the genetics of just not doing anything and magically you're just gonna be fit and strong and you know and have a great body or whatever it's just not about genetics i mean genetics have maybe five percent into it you know like they're maybe maybe for a next to get to the next level maybe your genetics can help you on that but but seriously it's all about hard work right it's all about your philosophy in life and that's of course you, i didn't tell him that because that's not he might not understand that situation. I'm not gonna say, hey, listen, it's my philosophy of life. Maybe you, if you get up in the morning and go to the gym, if you maybe most of the time say no to a certain type of food, maybe you will change, you know, like you, you cannot really say that to people because they, won't f they, will, they will find uh, um, another excuse. They will find, um, they will tell themselves a different story. No, I'm big bone, no, I, I, I don't, I, I assimilate too much of my food or, or many other uh, uh, stories I don't know if you can see my dog over there behind <laughs> that's Hercules Hercules come here so uh, so yeah you know so if you change your philosophy of life if you change your philosophy of life things are gonna change for you really really quick um, two years Two three years ago, I never I was never able to to work out uh, in a consistent basis. Uh, I will maybe work out for 45 days or maybe even for a month and then drop for six months and then work out for uh, 45 days or three months and then drop for a year. You know, never consistent. I was just like trying to get fit for the summer, and, and, and you know it was a constant fighting with it because I never liked it. Uh, and I tell you something right now, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is just like jump and put my gym clothes every single day. Wake up early in the morning and the first thing, the first thought that comes to my mind is like, yes, let's do it. Go to the gym. That's my first thing. Before anything, before opening a book, before anything, you know, I just go to the gym. And then during the day, of course, you know, you keep going with, um, with your foods, you know, like... I don't know, if you want to progress, you have to like put different standards and different rituals in your, into your life. So that's your philosophy. That's your philosophy of life, right? What are the things that you do in a constant basis, right? He was, he, uh, Jim Rohn was talking about like an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? But if you change that apple for a Hershey bar, <laughs> for a 
for a, for a burger, right? Then then you have your uh, your um, I don't know. You have different standards. So you have, your rituals are different. And then what are the things? What are they gonna get you? Today it might not change something, right? You eat an apple today and you say, okay, yeah, I'm good. No, it's not like that. It's actually the long term, right? Keep going and keep doing those uh, rituals and uh, and, ha and 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 those become habits you know good habits and those becomes your standard and that becomes your philosophy of life right every time you have different standards like in my in there is it's difficult for me to miss a day in the gym it's difficult unless i say you know today is my day of rest unless but if i like say that to myself and really i still feel like i'm not guilty that i'm not going to the gym because i just want to keep going right um I'm not saying get obsessive to it, but you know, to a certain point, if you wanna, if you wanna really make uh, a certain changes, changes in your life, you have to become obsessive. I'm not saying it in the, in the, in the. I don't wanna say a, like in a bad way, obsessed, and you know, like that to the point that you just lose everything, and, and you just, you know, no, it's it's not like that. It's just like you got to become obsessed with 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 progress you know and fulfillment comes from progress tony robbins say that you know fulfillment comes from progress when you feel that you're growing when you feel that you keep uh making more progress you feel happy you know um but when you are not when you're just sitting down let, let's talk about the person who maybe makes a million dollars or or wins the lottery or something like that and and then you you sit down and then you just go for vacation for the next for the next year vacation every single day you're not doing anything plus just vacation then you get bored and then you just feel bad why if you have it all why do you feel bad it's just because you're not progressing you know you don't have any progress you don't you don't feel like you're growing you know um we humans we are born and then you start growing and then you reproduce and then you die so you're not reproducing um 90 percent of your life spam right so you're reproducing maybe when you find a mate and or, or for certain situations maybe an accident or whatever but you're reproducing maybe it's just like one or two or three or maybe 10 times in your life but not all your life but you are growing and if you are not growing if you're not being born, if you're not dying, you are. You have to be growing to be happy, right? It makes sense. <laughs> Maybe I'm going too crazy with this subject, but but change your philosophy. I would say um, um, evaluate evaluate your life in the last five years. What ha what did you do to get you to this point? Um, and and where are you in your in your life right now? And what are you gonna do in the next five years to make it better or or just, just gonna wait for something to happen many people are just sitting waiting for something to happen um, like a package of money coming from the sky right I you remember when I was a kid when I was a kid when I was a, a baby boy I think I used to dream about just walking on the street and finding this suitcase with money suitcase with money will you will uh, it will uh, uh, it would be the solution to all my problems and I never found I never found that suitcase yet and I it probably if I found it now I will send it back to its owner um, but don't look for the mirage don't look for those illusions you know don't don't go out there and start looking for solutions put the solution to yourself you know make a solution for yourself Evaluate what you want for the next five years and change your philosophy to make it happen. All right? Just let me know if I can help you with anything. Send me a message. Uh, check my Facebook, my Twitter. Uh, subscri subscribe. Whatever you want to. But and, and if, it's, if it's not me, follow somebody else. You know, don't be, don't be a follower. Be a student of life and, and uh, to make things better for your life. You know, do something. And, and uh, if, if you decide that I can help you, man, I'll be here for you to help you. Just uh, let me know, all right? Have a good one and take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.